And with the Russian invasion still driving up oil prices here, the cost of diesel fuel, that has soared just like gasoline has. While most of us don't fuel up with diesel, we are still affected at the supermarket or with any mm -hmm. delivery, really. Two on your side's Ron Plants explains the overall impact of diesel driving up our prices. As trucks roll into this local distribution warehouse for a supermarket chain, be aware those massive diesel powered vehicles are burning through some very pricey fuel right now. And diesel prices have gone up almost 42% since the start of the year, which is again, something we've never seen before. While we get frustrated with our regular gas prices, consider that the per gallon cost of diesel is about a dollar and a half or more than gas. The truckers feeling it firsthand. I got a friend of mine, he goes out to California, and it's about seven something a gallon out there. And eventually it's going to hit all of us in the pocket to some degree. Well, usually there's a correlation every 10% that fuel prices go up, 0.3% increase in inflation. So that's what uh, consumers are going to see. You're going to keep seeing prices go up. Factor in the point that it's estimated 70% of our consumer goods and freight are carried by trucks. Just as the trucking companies and independent truckers operate on a fairly thin profit margin, they eventually pass that on to retailers. And that includes what we look for in the supermarket aisle, like our food and other products. For the grocery stores, because you know they run on, on uh, very uh, slim margins also. So they, in order to stay in business, they have to pass that, that cost along to the consumer which unfortunately creates inflation. Also that applies to any delivery we're getting and consider that farmers growing that food use diesel powered tractors and other heavy farm machinery, then diesel powered freight trains, and even those ocean going ships with freight containers now use diesel instead of dirtier bunker oil. Finally, another diesel dilemma. In Europe, because of the uh, Russian embargo of, of oil and gas, they're, they're using diesel uh, for, for to, to generate electricity. And so, you know, unfortunately, that's again impacting the amount of supply of, of diesel that we have. So for now, we're stuck in a pretty difficult cycle due to diesel dependency, if you will. Now, you may ask, what about electric trucks like the EV push? Well, you need the torque to tow tons, and they unfortunately just don't yet have the pulling power that diesel tractor trailers have. A local company experimenting with electric truck tugs, as they're called, at their terminal loading docks. Nothing for over the road, though. Here in the Information Center, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.